This should be good. Let's go. Do I have torches? I don't have torches. Good thing the sun's coming up, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, over here. Is this far enough away, you guys think? I think it's pretty far away. It's pretty good. This doesn't need to be, like, infinitely far away. This is a platform I was using to spawn mobs on, but I don't need to do that anymore. So, it's not too bad. Uh, this needs to go at least one more block this way. Where's my wand when I need it? You know what I can do? Let me put this up here. Rip that there. And then I can enable this uh, wither spawn. There. Let's just name it wither. It'll call it be way easier. All right, so from here. Nice, that'll work. I'm out of assault though, I'm doing that. Let's make a bridge. Let's make a bridge forehead. I don't know if that would look that good. All right, so we have this. Let me just quickly. This is like a very, I don't really want to make the, the ground look like this, but that's okay. Let's make ourselves a box. You said a five by five would work, Chad, correct? One, two, three, four, five. Correct? So I would need to make a seven by seven total then. The platform is not going to be basalt, by the way. I'm just making the actual outline basalt. Basalt isn't easy to build with currently. All right, and then we have reinforced here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I misjudged the size of this thing. Fuck. I think you're saying I made it seven by eight, which is what I'm realizing at this point. All right, and then this is... One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So this is the base here. Do I need to be able to fly into here for any reason whatsoever? Is it okay if there's torches? You want a 30 by... Th it's too small? I don't think this is too small. All right. I need to set up a draconic murder machine. Uh, I Do I do it at the very bottom? Can I do it here? I forget what this is like. It will kill basically anything in front of it. So this should be okay if I do it here, the mob grinder. Uh, is that the right way? I don't think that's the right way. Yeah, you can put it in the wall, I think, can't you? And then I need to put my builder below here. Is it below the very center, I assume? So I gotta put this right here. So I need to put the things in here. This will be soul sand, this will be wither skulls. And that will build it above here, but will it just keep building them? How does that work? Always active, only on... Okay, so I'm going to make this active on Redstone Signal, and I'm, I'm going to make a button that I push. And eventually, I'll make it do it over and over again. Let me see the working area, so I know where it's going to be building. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to build, honestly. Okay. Do we need anything else in here, or is it just energy? I think it's just energy. I put the Spectre Coil away, too. I need Soul Sand. I'm going to get a button for this, so I need... I need a button... <laughs> I need soul sand. I need wither skeleton skulls. All right, so this should only work. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I need a specter coil. And this should spawn if I do this now. Chad, are you ready? This should spawn a wither and then kill it. If it does not, we're in an oof. If it blows this up and escapes, we're in an oof. Uh, please die, please die, please die when it... Poggy. Okay, it worked. Let's try a lever first. Oh. Okay. Okay, Pog. We're good. What is this? Enchanted Voodoo Poppet. We go back. I gotta make a Crux. Nether Star Crux. Oh my god, yes. 
It's happening, chat. It's happening. Uh, essence. I'm gonna need ten of these for now. Bam. Two thousand. Two thousand normal essence. Which is nothing compared to, the, like, what we're currently generating, but still. Like, it's a lot of crafting cycles. We can make a railgun. Alright. Nether Star Crux. Now I can make a Nether Star. I've been, dude, chat, I've been waiting for this moment since like the first day we met. We need Insanium Essence? Oh god. Why do I need two? I thought I only need one. I'm pretty sure I only need one. You put it under farmland, you can grow Nether Star seeds. Oh, if I want to make 10, 10, 10 seeds, I have to make two of them. That makes sense. Well, I'll get more later. Uh, let's also make the seeds real fast. So I need a uh, crafting seed for this. It shouldn't be too hard. Are we still crafting Insanium? Oh no, we haven't made Insanium. Oh wait, no, we actually need Insanium Essence. I've never made an Insanium seed before. Oof. Have I even made a Supremium in crafting inf infusion crystal or whatever? I have, yeah. Currently, I have nine of these. That's not enough. We're going to need at least ten more. Now, if I want to make Insanium Essence... Holy moly. I can't believe I'm going to do this. By the way, I should take one of these out so I can get credit for the Insanium. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this dude. Oh, maybe I've already made this because it's like not really telling me too much. All right, I need four for the seed, and then I definitely need more. Uh, so I need three more, which means I need tw I need ten. I need ten more essence. Did I make some already? Uh, I should be able to see it if I made it. You'd see all the essence in here if I made it. Yeah. I have plenty of essence. That's fine. Yeah, it's just like it, it's a bit to make. All right, to make this seed, I gotta do this. Nice tier six crafting seed. So if I go over here, I don't know what this is from. Yeah, yeah, pog. It's a big one. There we go, done. Nether star seed. That's like one of the final things you can make, next to like awakened draconium seed and dragon egg seed stuff like that. Why not just make a transmutation table and have a million on everything you want to do with EMC? Yeah, let me just figure out how to make that transmutation table. That sounds like a good idea. Oh. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem that hard, right? We just gotta make a few things. Okay, what's this? Oh. Doesn't seem too hard, you know? We'll just, uh, we'll figure it out. Not that bad. Not that bad. Um, how do you make the ultimate crafting table? Yeah, ultimate crafting table. Yeah, this doesn't seem too hard at all. Oh, yeah, this isn't that bad. Mark iron ingot. Oh, that's right. It requires jade. Which requires the Erebus, so it can go fuck itself. <laughs> no. Not doing that today. Alright, chat. We're doing it. Pog you. Nether Star Seeds. Oof. There we go. Just like that. Alright. Things I need to do. Uh, I gotta make these 10, 10, 10 seeds. Don't want to do it right now, because I gotta get another Crux. Uh, unless I can actually- well, that's gonna take a long fucking time. I gotta do it manually. Oh, god. That is an oof. Let's do the simplest thing. Let's adjust our system for the- the new seed. Okay, I'm gonna stop our farm from growing. And then I'm going to- oh, fuck. We actually need this to grow. Hold on. I need a- I need a hoe. Alright, it doesn't matter where we grow these. Uh, I'll grow them right here, in the back corner. Okay, let me grow these manually. So we can get one essence. Okay. Go back over here. Alright, now that we have this essence, I need to take this drive out and then reprogram it. So that drives out. I need to reprogram it with this essence. Put this drive back in. This now has 23 items, and if I store this, should have 24 items. 
And it's not 10, 10, 10 yet, but it's okay. Uh, let me go get the Spectre Coils back, and we'll start this bad boy. Bad boy. God, I'll start this bad boy back up. And then we will have infinite nether stars. Pog. And you can see it growing. Now, it's not growing that fast, but that's totally okay. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, I have to make that 10, 10, 10. And to do that, I need to have another crux so I can grow them, like, next to each other. So, it'll be a crux, the crop stick with the seed, and then a crux with the crossbreeding crop stick. And it's going to grow over to it. And then I'm going to have to go back and forth forever. Uh, I'm going to have to break one, have it go back, break it again, have it go back, break it, have it go back. Okay. All The whole reason we were doing that was to make a railgun, by the way. Uh, I wanted to make a railgun. It required a lot of nether stars. We have a lot of nether stars now. Let's make a railgun. Let's do this bad shit. Let's go. Nether stars. We'll get there. That's... Oh! This is actually super hard to make, isn't it? Okay, we have 18 of these. And then we have these, which will make that. Okay, this will actually take some time. Invest in two or three cruxes. Yeah, I think what I want to do, what I'd want to do, right, would be, uh... Give me the Wither Skulls real fast. And Soul Sand. I could go over here, right? I could spawn a few more of these things. And spawn a few more. Uh, if I kill Withers manually, this not only gives me more stars, but this also gives me more cruxes. So, I might as well... I have two already, so that's good. So yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. Go back. I can make another crux now. Because I have two of these, which I forget what it requires, but I think we have all that stuff. Oh, I don't have the essence I need. I would need to make more. Not that essence. I need the, uh, this essence. All right, I'm doing this, and I know you're like, Waffle, make 10, 10, 10 seeds. I will eventually, all right? I'm just going to have this spread over here, so we just have two of them. Tomorrow's goal, 10, 10, 10 seeds. It'll be easy. Okay, let's make ourselves a railgun. And let's see how bad this is. This should charge it up. Someone said this is OP as fuck. But I don't, like, what does that mean? Right, what are we talking? How OP? Well, what's the OP-ness, you know? Does it shoot ammo? I don't know. It has power. Not enough power to fire. It takes 10 million to fire? Does it charge past? Okay, it charges past- Wow, it seems like it has a lot of power. 10 million RF for one shot. Let's- Let's go to the hunting dimension and test out our gun. I have two shots right now. It's the deep dark. Wait, what? Hello? Fluid cow. Hi. What's up, my dude? Lava. Alright. Also, it seems like it has a massive internal storage. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot. This portal actually makes those sounds. Alright. Uh... Okay, it just died. It, it just straight up died. I don't know. It didn't even make a sound effect. There wasn't an explosion. It just died. Wait. So I just aim at something and it dies? I kind of need something with more health. Okay, it's got very long range. <laughs> Let's go back. It's got super long range. I'm being... Yeah, you guys are saying this thing is nuts. I kind of want to spawn a wither in the nether and then try to kill it. Uh, let's see. I need soul sand. Because I trying out a boss is going to be a lot more, like, a lot more health. Okay, yeah. We'll give this a go. I'm going to go to the nether real quick. I'm going to spawn this thing, and I'm going to hope I one-shot it. Because if I don't, then oof. Alright, this is going to be a test of the railgun. It is weird laggy. Hold on. All right, there's going to be a test of the railgun to see if we can one-shot something with more than 10 health. Okay, the wither's spawning. It should shoot at me in a second. Once it explodes. All right, it is not getting one-shot. 
But it does do a lot of damage and rip all those stuffs. That's pretty good damage. Uh, if this had more charge, uh, I could probably spam click it and kill things really fast. You can change the power use. The scroll wheel changes it. One billion RF a shot. How? Okay. I bet it scales. So, like, if 10 million damage does 10 damage, which it probably does way more. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, next time we need to figure out how to charge this thing, dude. I want to be able to charge this thing with. Because we're making 1 million power a second, right? Or no, 10 million RF a second. I want to. I want to be able to charge this thing way faster. We might need to figure out a battery bank or something, but like that is holy moly. One million power. That's a lot of power. Even a hundred million is a little nuts. That'd be ten times stronger. That took four shots, I think, to kill that wither. I'd be able to one-shot it. That's nuts, man. Yeah. The overloaded mod might have something. Overloaded, wow. That is the best specter charger, but I think you can make multiple. That mod also has really huge, cheap energy storage. Oh, weird. Player interface, item interface, infinity tank, and oh, I remember this. The infinity capacitor requires almost nothing. Yeah. Energy extractor. What is that? If I do this, it might drain power from everything else, though. I just want to see what this is like, though. All right. Energy amount, 75,000. And then energy extractor. Oh no, 75 million. What does this do? This has 100 million in it. Is that even outputting to anything else? 200 million. The item interface will charge immediately once charged fully. The item interface. Wait, this is almost... Oh, it's, it's infinite storage. I forgot how much 2.14 billion actually is. You forget the scale of it. Why is it saying 0 0.0000? Is it just like saying this is infinite? That would be at least 0 0.0001. With a billion power. I mean, come on. This thing stores, what, 1 billion? Yeah. So it should be over half full. Almost half full. But it will never reach 100, I guess? We're at 800 million right now. Wait, how is this charging so fast? I don't understand. Is my inventory online? Yeah, it is still. Huh. It's storing FE. Yeah, it's the same thing, though. It's the same thing as RF. One billion. We just stored a billion RF. Just so you guys know. Uh, is there any way to use that? There's got to be a way, right? Like, this mod has to have a way to charge your insanely expensive items. Correct? Hyper energy sender and then hyper energy receiver. I don't know if that's what I want. I don't think it is. You need an item interface. A dragon egg? Okay. Mission for tomorrow, chat.